Konnichiwa. Hello everyone, what's happening? It's Richard here. How y'all doing? So it is Tuesday, which means it's time for a new video. So I've been wanting to do a review like this for a while. I've, I've had many different opportunities with like Arrow and Doctor Who and Game of Thrones and all these different shows that I love to watch, but for some reason I just... I just don't do it. I don't know why. Literally every single time. Like, I'll, I, when I watched uh, season three of Walking Dead, when that wrapped up, I was like, ooh, I'm gonna do a season three review. Just review the whole thing. And then I just, I don't do it. But I'm doing one right now, and I am so happy and so excited that the show I'm going to review is True Detective. True Detective, season one, you guys. Now, for those of you who've been making bad life choices and watching The Walking Dead at nine o'clock on Sundays, or for those of you that just are unfortunate and don't have HBO, here's what True Detective's all about. True Detective is a new anthology series on HBO that um, I guess each season's gonna follow a new set of detectives or like one detective or whatever. And season one starts off uh, in Louisiana and we follow these two detectives as they solve this really bizarre crime from 1995 all the way to 2012. Now I know what you're thinking, oh, another cop show, why do we have so many cop shows? But listen to me when I say this right now, this is probably the most unique cop show out there for a lot of reasons. One of those being the fact that the title of the show isn't an abbreviation. I'm sick and tired of your NCISs and your SVUs and your LMNOPs, it's ridiculous. No, what makes True Detective stand out, and this is my favorite, absolute favorite aspect of this show. This show decides to focus less on its really bizarre mystery and focus more on its two fantastic detective characters played by Matthew McConaughey and Woody Harrelson. Our two main characters are Rust Cole, who's played by McConaughey, and Martin Hart, who's played by Harrelson. Now, Rust is... I would like I would like to call him a more modern interpretation of the classic kind of noir detective. He's very dark, he's very philosoph what am I trying to say? Philosophical. There we go. He's very philosophical. Philosophical. He's highly intelligent. He's he is a he's a very interesting character, let's just say that. His views on life are very atheistic and very uh dark and very um almost true in a lot of ways. Like, I, I found myself listening to, to Russ talk and I'm like, he's not wrong. And he is such an interesting character. McConaughey plays him so well and it's so fascinating every time he's on screen. But obviously for a character that, you know, unhuman in a lot of ways, um, you need a more humanized, more relatable character as like a filter. That is your Woody Harrelson character whose name is Marty Hart. Marty is kind of the, the cool guy. He's kind of the, you know, Average Joe goes drinking with the guys, you know, has married, has two kids. But like Rust, he also has some of his own darkness in him. I mean, he doesn't have a dark past like Rust. I mean, Rust has a pretty dark past. I mean, his wife left him and his daughter died. So, Oh, his wife died, I think, too. I don't remember. Spoiler alert. But the darkness inside of Marty is that he's very, like, animal... Like, he works a lot on his animal instincts and a lot of his... Un, uh, he works a lot on his urges. And this leads to him making a lot of bad choices in his life. I don't know, he just does some stupid things. And you're like, really? However, there are definitely times when I don't blame him. Now again, while the show is more focused on these amazing characters and less on the mystery, the mystery itself is still really cool. Essentially, uh, Rust and Marty are trying to solve this mystery of this really, like, weird fella who kills women and, like, like ties them in poses and puts antlers on their heads, like crowns, and it has stuff to do with, like, uh, that uh, the Yellow King, which is a giant reference to the King in Yellow book. I don't know if you guys have ever read it. I've never read it, but I would like to read it now. And there's definitely some really great twists and turns here and there. It's it's actually a really cool story. But again, I implore you, this is not your this is not your typical twist and turns type of mystery where at the end of the day you find out one of the detectives is the killer. That's that's not the show at all. But it's not just the writing and the acting and the character development that make the show so great. It's also this show's very cinematic on it. From, it's just fantastic. Like, visually speaking, um, the show kind of brings a new twist to that kind of dull, weird, stylized, film noir kind of thing that you see in a lot of, like, those, you know, pulper, pulpy kind of detective movies. Like, the dull hues kind of have this, like, uh, like, orangish kind of sunny glow, and it's almost stuffy, and it's almost like, huh, like, you can feel it, and it's just, it's so fantastic. 
the, just everything about the, the cinematography is top freaking notch. Like literally, there's this whole episode, I think it was the third or the fourth episode of this first season, Russ gets in this really intense situation where he's trying to escape it and it's all one shot and if, if you're like me and you're like a film nerd or like a cinematog cinematography kind of nerd, you probably orgasmed like I did. I hate to be crude, but that's essentially what happened. Overall, if you have not watched True Detective, I implore you watch it. So anywho, that's about it for this guy. In the comment section below, I have two questions. Question number one, uh, if you've seen True Detective, what are your thoughts on it? Tell me in the comments. Also, for other True Detective fans out there, how would you like season two to go? Like, who do you think should be the detective? Where should it be set? What are your thoughts? Tell me comments down below. And as usual, don't forget to like this video, follow me, and all the links and all the Facebooks and Twitters and whatnot. Links are all in the in the box below my face, you know what I'm talking about. Uh, also, subscribe to this YouTube channel if you like what you see and favorite the video, because I like it when you do that. And I'll see you guys next time with a brand new video. Bye!